Yeah. Um, now, considering how much Alberta pays into the pension plan or a Canada pension plan to be more specific, uh, we can kind of obviously understand how the rest of Canada is a little kind of sweating a little bit right now, because if Alberta pulls out, then that's a lot of the contribution that they're not going to get. And it's, I don't know why they think it's going to happen because as you've kind of laid out already, Canada pension plan is a dying animal. And uh, if Alberta left, it might just put it out of its misery, which is kind of the great, <laughs> the, the merciful thing to do. Um, what do you think would happen to Canada? Uh, or the, just the Canada Pension Plan specifically, if Alberta did pull... Uh, so if you look at what's going to happen to Canada, um, I'm going to be a little more pessimistic than what Daniel Smith has said. You know, it's going to be more than just, a, I think, a percentage point increase in contribution rates. Um, because the reality is, come 2026, the expenditures will exceed the contributions. And that's with Albertans contributing. So if you withdraw that, um, you know, those, those that significant amount of contribution, that's really going to sort of highlight the problems with the Canada pension plan and the pay as you go, um, in which case it's going to force a far greater contribution rate, or they're going to have to decrease the contribution, uh, the benefits, um, you know, because there's just no way to fix it um, the way uh, any other way. And, and politicians don't want to talk about this because, of course, they don't want it to be their problem. They just want it to kick the can down the road further and further, making it somebody else's problem. They don't want to fix it. So, you know, I it, it will hurt Canada. There is no doubt about it. Um, the current retirees won't have anything to worry about because there are five hundred and ninety billion dollars in assets. You know, ignore the unfunded liabilities. They'll go through those. Um, just let the unfunded liabilities continue to grow. And the people who are retired today will probably be fine. It is the future generations. Those are the ones that are going to be left holding a very hefty tax bill to either finance and fund um, or. Um, you know, it'll collapse altogether, in my opinion. Provided, uh, so speaking on a national level, uh, provided we get um, that kind of conservative supermajority that we're all kind of anticipating, uh, for better or for worse, um, you know, Pierre being an Alberta boy, or at least being from Alberta, we'll say, more accurately, and being conservative and having that good relationship with Premier Smith, do you think, like... What do you think is going to happen? Because I can see, obviously, as the prime minister, he's going to want to keep us in the Canada pension plan. And we're obviously at odds with that because of what's good for Alberta. Uh, what do you see happening there? The, what dynamic is at play? You've, you've been around these people, these uh, politicians, and uh, also an, another person, Maxine Bernie, who I know that you're friendly with. And uh, what, do, what do you see playing out there uh, as we come through uh, 2025, I guess it is, when we have our election? Well, I did a great interview with Maxime already. And like he said, um, as far as the premier of a province goes, their responsibility is to act in the best interest of their own citizens. And so Danielle Smith should be continuing to move forward and push on this Alberta pension plan, in my opinion. Um, I have already had people come to me, um, small groups um, have spoken to Jason Nixon, uh, for example, who um, sits in her cabinet and MLA for the UCP. And he has already said that if uh, Pierre Polyev, actually didn't say he said when Pierre Polyev wins the next federal election, the Alberta pension plan will go away. Um, that's a very dangerous statement for me because that means they are playing politics. This is not about the best interest of Albertans. Um, and that was very disappointing for me to hear. Um, this is the absolute best thing that Alberta could do. And you're right, uh, Pierre Polyev is not going to want us to leave. I don't think he'll throw his support behind this. And the reason being is because it's going to hurt Canada. And his job is to protect the interests of all of Canada. And in particular, as the prime minister, I don't care whether you're from the east or the west, the reality is you have to appease Quebec and Ontario if you want to get reelected four years from now. And so that's the harsh reality that we in the West have to come to grips with is that it doesn't matter whether um, we, we had Stephen Harper for eight years. What changed for Alberta? Absolutely nothing. If it, it, it gave us a little bit of grace for eight years, that's about it. And he's the one who actually increased the equalization payment, making it harder and harsher on Albertans. And I can go on and on with different policies that they've done. But the reality is um you know alberta has and should be taking care of itself and our premier should be acting in the best interests of albertans and an alberta pension plan as i hope i clearly demonstrated for the people watching tonight is definitely in the best interests of alberta um.